Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at my cook kit. Alright guys, so uh, today I want to go over my cook kit. I've had this one here for uh, basically since I started backpacking, uh, which is the, uh, the old fancy feast, but... Uh, recently, it started to uh, started to die on me here. It started coming apart, so uh, took the opportunity uh, instead of fixing this. Which, to be honest, nothing's really wrong with this thing. But I decided to try something new. So I ordered something new. But before we get to that, let me show you what I've been dealing with for a while now. All right, guys. So this is my uh, setup for that I've been using for quite some time. And it all, what I really like about this setup is it does all nest really well. This is a 750 milliliter. This, I believe, is 500 if I remember right. And that goes inside there. This would go in here. This would go in here. And then usually I have a top, a second top for this, uh, that has a little pinhole in there. And I can take this off, put that one on, and then I'll be able to squirt the uh, the fuel into my fancy piece stove. Uh, and then also a mini Bic lighter. I don't have those in there right now, although I do have it in my other kit, so I could take those out. But uh, then the top goes on here, and then usually I would put this on top, just loosey-goosey, not really all the way on there. And then I'd lift this up, plop it in here, Oops. Lift this up, flap it in here, put this around it, and then it all fits inside here real nice and easy. So everything nests together, looks real good together, easy to keep track of, very simple. All right, so this setup weighs, and that is with the mini Bic lighter, and it's 11.9, so I'll call it 12 ounces. I really did like this setup, but let me show you what my new setup is and then we'll talk about the uh, the differences here and why why I made some changes all right guys so this is my new setup uh, that I reached recently got uh, and got set up here so um, this I, I liked my other setup but basically this one just I wanted to try something new and uh, this is my bottle for my fuel Everything comes out. It's nice and nested in there easily when you actually have the top on there. This is a little bit different size here. Uh, it is the wide. Uh, I believe it's a 500 milliliter, I believe. And this is all the contents for that. So everything here, what I got is a fuel this is about the same size as the other one, about four, four ounces or so, um, maybe five in, in this one. But it's what's nice is this actually has a little top on there already, uh, so I don't need to carry a whole second top with a hole in it in order to uh, use it to squirt the, the fuel out. And uh, it, it all kind of fits real nice together, less moving parts. Um, I tested this and it doesn't seem to leak, um, time will tell. The other one lasted years and years and years without it leaking, but we'll see, maybe this one will uh, will leak, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it should, but I definitely have more confidence in the Nalgene version of these, but this is significantly lighter. The uh, Cogen alcohol stove from Trail Designs. This is all from Trail Designs, by the way. A uh, their Caldera um, TI system and what I like about this setup is this does exactly one ounce uh, which is all I really need when I'm backpacking and you can actually if you start you start boiling water early before all the fuels out you can just throw that on top and then it snuffs it out so you can actually save some fuel that way then I've got a uh, measuring cup if I need it. This weighs very, very little, so I'll probably bring it just to make things easy. But um, 
I really don't know if I'll need to because what I did on my last one that worked out just fine is I make lines here for my ounces and then uh, just squeeze it in there. So this, this might actually just come out. Then I got my mini Bic lighter and then this is the reason why I went with this setup. Um, <clears throat> the thing with alcohol stoves is they are pretty susceptible to wind. And what this is, is titanium windscreen. And unlike my other one that's super flimsy and beat up, this, you just go like this with, and blammo. There you go, you got that. And then you put your stove in there, fill it up, have it on. And this actually fits right on there. So now, with the holes and everything, it can still vent out, and you're getting the entire surface area all inside of here, heating up the water, so it's very efficient. Um, and then obviously I got the top here. So the one thing I don't like about, about this setup is this. I had to put these on here myself uh, because there's nothing on the inside for me to measure with, and uh, that's kind of disappointing, but Outside of that, this is this seems to be a good setup here, and it is a 700 milliliter titanium toke spot. So you put this on here, and you're all set. And the other thing that I like about this setup is I actually have these all the way out here. That's why I chose this setup versus the one that's closer. See, with this one, when I would go to pick pick this up this would be extremely hot right here because it's just too close to the body over here I have tested this out and I can grab this without burning myself which is uh, a big pro for me I also think that part of that is because it's being protected by this by this screen all right so this kit all together weighs almost half as much as the other one 6.5 ounces versus 11.9 so almost half the weight and uh, I got I've got a uh, I think a better system right here so I'm pretty happy with that all right guys so those are those are my two setups what you'll notice is they are very similar uh, and also both of them do have the uh, alcohol setup now when it comes to what fuel source you're going to go with, uh, I think there's a couple things that you're going to want to look at and think about. Uh, the reasons why I personally chose to go with the alcohol stove versus the canister stove is because I like to be able to monitor and see how much fuel I have out there. I know that it takes an ounce or less for me to boil almost any amount of water that I need for any of those backpacking meals that I bring. So I don't need to carry six, seven days worth. I don't need to carry um, enough fuel for the morning and at night. All I do is carry enough for at night because in the morning time, I no longer drink coffee. I actually bring a another supplement. I don't go without any sort of um, caffeine. That would be, well, crazy. So <laughs> I do bring something, but it's, it's one of those mixtures that I could just pour in there and go. The other advantage to an alcohol stove is you don't have to listen to the sound. So at, at nighttime or in the morning time, if you are drinking coffee, you don't have to hear while you're sitting there trying to enjoy the, uh, the outback. Now with a fuel canister set up, uh, what ends up happening is after you're done backpacking for that weekend, you're going to have a, a canister come back and you really don't know how much fuel you got. Uh, you can, there's tricks out there to figure out how much fuel you got, but let's say you only got enough for two ounces in there or enough, or enough fuel you think to, to boil twice. Uh, you might have to carry another canister out in the woods just to, uh, to get that third night. Uh, or you could just buy another canister. And my issue with that is it's kind of wasteful, both monetarily and for the environment. Uh, so I personally just kind of stick with this. I just think it's easier for that, for that reason, and it's my personal preference. 
Now, the downside to something like this is it does take longer. It takes probably five minutes, maybe even more sometimes, to boil the water you're gonna need for your backpacking meals, depending on how much water you have to boil uh, and what temperature it is out there. But uh, speaking of temperature, another pro of using these is it's good even in freezing temps. So with a fuel canister, sometimes the because it, it runs off of a gas, uh, the cold weather uh, makes turns it back into a liquid. And so you need to invert the canister in order to give yourself fuel. And that doesn't work when you have like the BRS stove, which is the one, one of the ones that I have that go on the top of it. It doesn't you're not able to turn it upside down to give it that liquid. So when it's really cold out, this definitely um, definitely beats the, uh, the canister setup. All right, guys, last thing I want to do is go over what you should be looking at if you're going to go buy something like this online. So I got this from tra traildesigns.com, uh, the Cogen, and you can get this entire setup um, usually for about 75 bucks, kind of steep. Uh, maybe a, it might even be a little bit more now that inflation's gone through the roof. I don't know. Uh, but <clears throat> one of the reasons why I went with this setup, this size, 700 milliliter, was because this fits inside of here. The problem with getting this size, which I do like this size, and I like this pot because it's got the lines on there. Um, one of the problems was A... It wasn't in stock when I went to buy it, and it's still not in stock now, I believe. Um, but although it nests really well, here with this setup, if you use the caldera cone, the caldera cone does not fit inside of here because it needs to be high enough up for the pot to sit in here and actually be up high enough off from your um, alcohol stove. This one is wide enough of a cup where this actually fits in here because it is not as tall as it is wide. So that's why I went with this one. I would prefer, if I'm gonna have to have issues with nesting things together, I would prefer to have my alcohol on the outside and have the windscreen on the inside so that way it doesn't get beat up in my pack and all that this is easily enough easily enough stored um, on the top and then also I can put I would rather have this in a plastic bag possibly separate from everything else I might carry this in a different spot just in case it does leak it doesn't get all over if you have it stored in here uh, it's going to leak all over everything that you have in there, and that, that could be a problem. So that's why I chose this one over this setup. They have every pot that you can think of with every option you can think of on there. So go and check them out. Figure out what's going to work for you. This is just what works for me. All right, guys, so that is the setup. 6.5 ounces is my cook kick system. Uh, the caldera cone with a cogen. Uh, alcohol stove um, works pretty good pretty happy with it so far I've only tested it a few times but I will keep you guys updated if for some reason I find that there's an issue with it um, outside of that I hope it was helpful to some somebody out there and if it was please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you really liked it subscribe for more content I will be going over some more some more of my gear choices and I'll see you on the next one